Hello and welcome. So in this video I want to cover um, the topic um, about how we can create an application software component type uh, when working with Alduza. So Basically we want to create um, an XML which is the description for a software component um, which is located above the RTE. Okay so uh, as you can see here um, this one in the left corner. Um, good. What is a uh, software component type? You can find more information about this um, on the uh, Audozar uh, main site. Uh, but basically, um, you can uh, see that uh, and read here that the application software component type it is specialization of an atomic software component type. So uh, feel free to check more about uh, a component type. So I will not stay uh, to read here together with you. So you can do this individually, uh, but mainly I want to cover this and um, maybe create uh, an RxML which uh, has the, the main key elements in order to have a basic and a starting point for software component. Um, yeah good so um i'm using uh, here the um, rt text demonstration demonstrator but you can use it whatever tool you are um, used to it and it's available for you uh, this one is open source uh, and you can search it on internet so i have a project already here so um i want to create uh, basically for the start or uh, uh, a new Autos are file, yeah, and we'll, um, let's say rename it. Uh, let's suppose that we have a component, a new requirement, and we want to implement this um, as um, SPD or speed, maybe. Click finish, and yes, we have it here. Okay, so um, this this one has already a package here. And we can create here under this package, we need to add some elements and uh, this file will uh, then be used um, to generate the RTE. Okay, now we need to add um, an element here, which is um, application software component type. And um, here under this, we need to um, add um, another element which is um, an internal behavior a software inter a software component internal behavior and basically we want our component to run at periodically cyclically at uh, a certain um, a period 10 or 100 and whatsoever um, so for this we need to add another element which is um, under events, we need to add the timing event. Uh, so this um, timing event here will need to start um, a runnable. So basically we need to add also um, a runnable here, um, runnable entity. So we call it, um, we can choose a name for it. Um, yeah, so the symbol uh, name, it is um, SPD runnable, yes, and um, we can also um, so can be in uh, concurrently. We say false, and yes, we can add um, many um, properties here. But for now, I think it's enough SPD ra runnable. Okay. Good. Um, we can add here and save it. Good. And basically we want to map this. Uh, so start on event we can add here our runnable to start. Good. Um, so basically now we have a runnable. Of course, we can also add maybe an init 
uh, runnable, which can be uh, called from other context. Uh, so we can, um, but we can keep it like this, uh, simple. Good. Uh, okay, now we need to add another element. Um, so um, we need to search here for an um, element called um, um, software implementation. So Software, software. Okay, software implementation. And under this one, um, we need to have um. A code, element. Mm. Yeah. And uh, after this one, we need to add an um, under code. We need to add an uh, AutoSAR engineering object. Okay. So basically. Here the code um, for name we can say it's a code yeah autosar engineering object uh, here yes we can um, select um, property here so we have the codes um, and we can let it like, like this good then we need um a resource consumption so under this one we need to uh, select resource consumption and here we can also type um source consumption Okay, as a uh, short name, good and very important. Um, we need to um, add here under this one um, a memory section. Good. So here uh, it's very important to specify the software address. Um, Okay, but now I'm not in an environment, so uh, basically this file should be part of the project and where you can uh, particularly set some links uh, to to um, to some properties. Uh, so um, basically here we need to specify the AutoSAR map um, and address the software address method um, code. Good. Um, so basically, I think this is all as we need to as a starting point. Uh, as I said, um, it could be some other elements that needs to be added. But for um, as a starting point, I think we need to recap a little bit. So we need an application software component type. We for sure need an, an software internal behavior. Uh, with a timing event where it's mapped the runnable uh, with and this time event normally we need also to specify maybe the period here let's say 100 milliseconds uh, and then then we need a software implementation uh, with a code element uh, and a resource consumption with the memory section okay so um, I think um, this is enough to have a glimpse of uh, how you can create a software component and um, yeah
so uh, thank you and um, have a nice day bye bye